All right, everyone, brothers and sisters, it is the 29th day of July, Monday, 2013. I want to put all of your minds to rest, and all of you gloomers and doomers, I hate to burst your bubble. No, this is regarding this article, and it's been around the social media sites and websites like Godlike Productions and others. RFID chip now being issued in Hannah, Wyoming, as part of new Obamacare plan, the Mark of the Beast 666, uh, in order to get on assistance like welfare, uh, the residents will have to be implanted with the RFID microchip, Mark of the Beast, gloom and doom. And even the police officers, uh, officials, employees, government officials are all implanted with this RFID chip. Now, this story has been all over the Internet. Uh, I have a precious brother that called me yesterday from Texas, very concerned, and he called the Hannah, Wyoming Police Department, and he couldn't get through. But I want to put all of your minds to rest. The world's not going to end. Uh, the story is not true. All right, now what you want to do, and, and I read a little bit of it. Um, church, where is your focus? National Report. This comes from a website. Let's uh, look at it here. National Report. All right, let's read a little bit of this. Don't be frightened. When I read this to you, don't be frightened. The Obamacare RFID chips are currently being given. A test run on the proud and pathetic and patriotic, pathetic, patri well, it's pathetic if we follow this kind of hype and nonsense. Citizens of Anna, Wyoming, over the last two weeks, a special piece of legislation has been passed making it mandatory for anyone who receives welfare or any other form of government assistance to be implanted with these new identification chips, even select government employees and officials have been ordered to receive the new subdermal device, which is typically implanted in the fatty tissue of the individual's buttocks. No, that is not the right hand or the forehead, it's the buttocks. Police officers, military, even garbage men, even garbage men. That's when the flag went up when I read this. Even the garbage men will be required to have an RFID chip. But if you do a little bit of digging, a little bit of research, what do we find? Let's go to the disclaimer for this article. Disclaimer, the National Report is an online portal for citizen journalists. These aren't real journalists. These are just citizens and communities around the United States of America that write this hoax, garbage. The views expressed by writers on this site are theirs alone and are not reflective of the fine journalistic and editorial integrity of National Report. Advice given is not to be construed as professional. If you are in need of professional help, please consult a professional. National Report is not intended for children under the age of 18, the stories within are fictitious, fictitious. Now, about the author, Jane M. I can't even read this. You're going to have, uh, uh, you'll have the article below. Let's read some of the comments. Just to put your mind at ease. Um, I got to be careful what I pull up here. Um, let's see. This site is Spoof News. Look at the front page. Um, just goes on. All right. I just got to be careful what I try to. Uh, anyone stupid enough to let the government implant anything in their body is a moron. I wish people would wake up. But anyway, it is um, fictitious. It's, it's not real. Brothers and sisters, we do need to wake up. Um, and as far as I know, 
I'm going to give you my, uh, why I'm not out here on YouTube streaming and hyping up the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast in the Obamacare uh, uh, plan is they try to implement the RFID microchip. Even before Obamacare, they put it through uh, Congress and Congress uh, did not pass the bill. So as far as I know, it's not even in Obamacare. Church, again, this comes from a website. Um, national Report, and the story is not real. It's uh, fictitious. Now, let me see if I can show you one thing here. We'll go to Godlike Productions, and again, disclaimer, the article is from the National Report. National Report is a news and political satire web publication which may or may not use real names, often in semi-real or mostly fictitious ways. All news articles contained within National Report are fiction and presumably fake news. Any resemblance to the truth is purely coincidental. The views expressed by writers on the site are theirs alone and are not reflective of the fine journalistic and editorial integrity of National Report. Advice given is not to be considered or construed as professional. If you are in need of professional help, and a lot of people on YouTube screaming all of this and putting out these articles, Kill Shot, September, Edward Snowden, these fake articles and screaming, the RFID microchip, as far as I know, it's not even in the Obamacare bill. It got rejected by Congress before it could even be put through. Uh, what are you trying to do? Why are you promoting fear? Uh, <laughs> if you are in need of professional help, let me ask you that are promoting this hype, if you are in need of professional help, and you may be, if you are on this page, just from their own website, please consult a professional. National Report is intended for a mature audience and not for children under the age of 18 church. A lot of times I wonder where are our priorities? Um, this is a hoax. It's another hoax. More gloom and doom. As far as the RFID microchip, I'm not screaming Mark of the Beast. I don't know. From the research that I have done, it never, never passed. The bill never passed before it even got to Obamacare. It was shot down by Congress. Church, focus, focus. Focus on the bridegroom. He's about to break the sky. Take this time. Fall madly deeply in love with the lion of the tribe of Judah, your kinsman redeemer, Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus. Well, leave me comments. Hate to be the bad guy and burst the bubble of gloom and doom.